What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. So today I've decided to jump in the truck, come down to the creek and try to get my hands on some big old tank small mouse. So that's the mission for this evening. We're at a beautiful section of creek right now and I've caught some pretty big ones here before. So we're going to throw some top water, some swim baits, all that kind of stuff. And you know I got to throw in the curl tail grub. So we're going to see if we can get hooked up this evening. Y'all stay tuned, sit back and enjoy. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Also, now we can jump into this video and see if we can get hooked up. Y'all stay tuned. So we're going to start off by throwing the old whopper plopper. See if we can get hooked up on this thing. I have a couple different size whopper ploppers to throw today. We have swim baits, all sorts of stuff, but we're just gonna have some fun. Let's see what bites. You got a big one on. <laughs> big smallie. Good grief, that thing is a tank. <laughs> Jeez Louise. God bless. <laughs> Dude, that's crazy. That thing's a stud. Well, there's first fish, teensy one, but a little smally. Jeez, <laughs> I just sight fished that thing. Literally, I just saw it follow my, the curl tail grub up, tossed it right back to it, <laughs> it choked it. Big, big old sunfish. Holy crap. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I got a freaking tank on. Holy crap. Is this recording? This is recording. Oh my God. This is the biggest smallmouth I've ever caught in my life. Holy crap. Holy Jesus, Pete. Jesus, Pete. Get in here. Get in here. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God, this is the biggest fish I've ever caught. Biggest smallmouth, 100%. Holy mackerel, guys. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh, dude, this is a citation. This is a freaking citation smallmouth. You guys seeing this? Oh my gosh, I can't breathe. Dude, you've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. I can't even talk right now. Y'all seeing this right now? Holy crap. Look at this fish. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is by far my biggest creek smallmouth I've ever caught in my entire life. That, that's insane. That is absolutely insane. Such a beautiful, beautiful smallmouth. I think this is by far my biggest smallmouth as far as length that I have ever caught. That is, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> but this is my first legit fish of the day. And what a stinking pig this thing is. Good grief. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's insane. I don't want to keep him out of the water long, so we're going to get some cool GoPro shots, take some pictures, and get him on his way. But oh my gosh. What a way to start the evening. That's, that's crazy. So 
So out of all my times fishing here, I don't think I've ever hooked into a fish of that caliber, especially off of top water. So that was absolutely insane. I said we were gonna try to hook some big ones today. The good Lord let us hook a giant. That was my biggest creek smallmouth I think I've ever caught in my entire life. I caught that really big one with Cody on the 4th of July. I'm gonna have to insert those clips probably in the next video or make a completely separate video about it because I haven't even put those clips in of my big fish on the 4th of July. But what an amazing evening to catch that fish. I just, I cannot believe I actually hooked into that thing. And the funny thing is on the GoPro footage, I wasn't even hardly talking. I just watched it back and I'm just like, oh, oh, oh. It's so funny when I get in moods like that where I'm hooked into a big fish or something's going crazy and uh, my adrenaline's just through the roof. I like completely black out and don't even know what's going on. And I forget that I'm filming and I'm just freaking out. It was just crazy and I'm so glad I was able to capture that on footage and get some shots of that beautiful fish. So we're gonna fish for a little bit longer, uh, just have some fun. We're gonna work our way up this way just a little bit farther, try to catch some more off top water and then we're gonna head out of here and call it an evening. Dude, that was freaking crazy. I still cannot believe that I caught that fish. This is literally the cast that I did. I casted right over there. I was reeling and then I looked up to my left, wasn't even paying attention. I hope the GoPro got it, but just absolutely destroyed that top water bait. Such a crazy, crazy catch. And I'm so glad I got that on film. That was so sick. That stuff right there gets me so excited. I absolutely love it. Love it, love it, love it. This is stinking insane. Okay, so we're done fishing for the day and I come to check my trail cameras, put some more apples out and the big buck, my target buck is standing literally right up there, about 80 yards right up on the hillside and we spooked him. So I, we're, I guarantee we're gonna walk back to this camera and there's gonna be pictures of him from literally minutes ago, walking right past that camera. I brought another camera back here because I'm gonna to try to get just the way he's traveling, try to pinpoint from that location to where he's going next. So we have another camera to set out this evening. Well, at least we got to see him in person. That is my first time seeing that deer in person. And oh my gosh, the pictures make him look big but when you see him in person, just running through the woods, see that rack and how big this deer's body is, it's insane, absolutely insane. I really wish I would've got it on film so I can look back on it and show you guys. But I was kind of starstruck and didn't know what was going on. But oh my gosh, we have a stinking stud on our hands. But I guess we're gonna ease back here, switch out the cards on this camera back here, put some apples out and then we're also gonna put up another camera. But I guess that's one way to end the video off, catching a big small mouth and then seeing a giant buck, my target buck. <laughs> Guys, this hunting season is about to be wild. That's all I gotta say. Please, if you haven't already, subscribe because it's gonna be wild, I promise. It is gonna be wild. What I had planned on doing was setting up the second camera a little bit farther back actually past the camera that we're going to check right now but since i spooked that buck i don't want to keep bumping it back there even though it's probably going to forget um, i'm just i'm trying to be extra cautious with this deer because really it's my biggest buck that i've ever been able to go after and get consecutive pictures of two years in a row so i'm going to set a camera actually in front of the camera that we're going to check right now so we're here we still got a ways to go to the other camera so possibly he's working his way this way. This is the way he looked like he was going when I saw him, but he ran back towards the camera. So we might actually have him running past the camera um, when we go check it. But this is where I ended up putting it right here. It's all I can see all down through here is just hoof prints, just following this whole hillside. So I think they're using this entire ridge right here as just like a funnel point going down through because there's a real big thicket there. This is the first real big opening. So you, all you see is just torn up hoof prints, everything walking down through here. So it's a really good spot to hang a camera. So we kind of have a whole vantage point of this ridge line 
Um, so anything that comes across back and forth, we're going to get pictures of. And also the good thing about this is there's a dead tree. Actually, it's a live tree that's fallen over. So it's kind of blocking this whole entire ridge up above. So it's going to funnel these deer right past the camera. So and we should get a lot of pictures on this camera. All right, so this camera is good to go. We got the apples out. I'm just going to open it up and we're going to get it turned on. And now all we need you to do is get some pictures of our big buck or any other big bucks that walk by. All right, we're golden. Within the next five, six, seven weeks or so, the patterns that these deer are on, it's going to start changing because their summer pattern is completely different from their fall pattern. But it's really going to help us know where to be in the best possible location to try to kill one of these bucks come early bow season because they're still going to somewhat be on this pattern. So if we can get them targeted right now, we should be good. And actually, as I've been walking, I can see right where this buck has ran. Looks like he hit this and then ran straight down towards that thicket. Camera's right up here. I've got the apples in my book bag. We're going to sneak up here, try to do this as quick as possible and get the heck out of Dodge. Old card, new card is going in. All right, that's good to go. Chill cam's locked. All right, let's get these apples out and get the heck out of here. Oh my gosh, look at this. There's a huge, huge track right there. It's an absolute giant track. Yeah, we're gonna get the heck out of here. Let me get this book bag off. Let's dump these apples out real quick. And as quick as we got here, we are headed out. I'm still trying to be quiet. It's a very, very, very calm evening, but we got that trail camera situated. We switched the SD card out. I've got this SD card with all the pictures. The apples are out and we are looking good. We are in business. So I'm a good ways off from those cameras now. So I guess it's a good time to wrap this video up and kind of, I guess, explain this last little bit. I came walking back in the woods to end this video as soon as I got back here, we saw the big buck, my target buck, the buck that I've been telling you guys about pretty much in all these deer videos, the trail cam videos. He was there. I mean, I literally looked right up on the hill and he was just standing right there. Absolutely insane. The pictures do not do him justice. He is a brute, absolute brute. So now we have two cameras back there. So hopefully it's going to give us a better idea of where these deer are traveling to and from. But we're going to head up to the house. We're going to check these trail camera pictures and I'll show you guys what we got on there.